Here's something I didn't know until I was in my 30s. Here's something I wish I knew before I was in my 30s. The best way to get these annoying stickers off. Spoiler alert, it's not picking at them. Take some hot water, pour it in, feel cozy, and then just easily peel off. Wait, I can't use water on this thermal cup because the heat doesn't get through. Oh my gosh. What? <sighs> Not a drop of residue. Here's something I wish I knew before I was in my 30s. You can sharpen a knife with the back of a plate. Be careful with knives. I've already sharpened this knife on the back of a plate. Cuts much better. This knife needs to be sharpened and needs to be pressed down a lot harder to actually cut. This knife has not been sharpened. It needs to be pressed down a little bit harder to actually cut. Let's sharpen. Back of plate. So much sharper. You can sharpen knives with the back of a plate. Here's something I wish I knew before I was in my 30s. This does not sharpen knives. This is a honing rod. Honing and sharpening are not the same thing. Look, that... Mm. Here's something I wish I knew before I was in my 30s. You're supposed to cook cinnamon rolls in a cake pan. Until right now, I didn't know I owned one of these. Reading glasses. Directions. Grease, round, cake pan. Let's pop this sucker. Ah! Oh. Greasing the pan. Which way do I put them? On your marks, get set, bake. Round cake pan. Spread the icing. <sighs> Honey, I made cinnamon buns. On your marks, get set, bake. Hey, that's wrong. They're supposed to go in the round cake pan like this, all together. New video coming. All of you were right. Those are way better. Here's something I wish I knew before I was in my 30s. How to make cinnamon rolls. You use a round cake pan. Grease it up. Also, the cake pan isn't supposed to be lined with anything. Press spoon at seam. Apparently, you could just hit it on the counter. <laughs> it worked. This is the most important part. Put them all next to each other in the cake pan. I'm pretty sure it's like this. Round two. On your marks, get set, bake. Whoa! Look at how beautiful that is. Oh my gosh, that's so much better than what I made. This is a comparison between the one I made earlier and the ones you told me to make correctly. Thank you for correcting me. This is way better and so good. Here's something I wish I knew before I was in my 30s. How to tie a trash bag. Don't tie these together. Hold them up, make a knot, wrap around the knot, through the loop, creating a nice, a very nice tight seal. Here's something I wish I knew before I was in my 30s. How to put trash bags in a trash can. Uh, it's so big I can't get the trash bag in the trash can. Look, now I can. So much easier. 
Here's something I didn't know until I was in my 30s. You can tell how many ounces are in a mug by how many fingers you can fit in the handle. Two fingers, eight ounces. Three fingers, 10 ounces. Four fingers, 12 ounces. Also, they make mugs for four fingers! Okay, so, I was wrong. Mugs come in all different shapes and sizes. Let's test the theory with the three culprits. Two finger mug. Eight ounces. Three finger mug. That looks like 10 ounces to me. Four finger mug. That looks like 12 ounces! <laughs> Conclusion is, mugs come in all different shapes and sizes. But in fact, the mind-blowing secret of these three is real. <laughs> Here's something you should know before you're in your 30s. Nobody says, speak now or forever hold your peace at weddings. The tradition started in the Middle Ages, when sometimes there was just cause for two people to not be married. Like, being married already. Or being related. Or worst of all, not being baptized. But yeah, we don't use it anymore. Okay, okay, okay. Here's something I didn't know until I was in my 30s. A lot of people still say speak now or forever hold your peace at weddings. All kinds of weddings. Everywhere. People still say it. Thank you for letting me know. Literally everyone. Here's something I didn't know until I was in my 30s. You can use a spatula to unstick a drawer. Really hope this works. Metal straws, measuring cups, drawer stuck. Insert spatula. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. It worked! <laughs> Honey, it's unstuck. What if it's the spatula that's wedged in the drawer? You need to find something sturdy and bendable, like a tape measure or comb. I really hope this works. Spatula. Drawer stuck. Tape measure. Spatula saved. Here's something I didn't know until I was in my 30s. <laughs> How corn dogs got their name. A corn dog, also spelled corn dog, is a sausage on a stick that has been coated in a thick layer of cornmeal batter and deep fried. Cornbread is made of cornmeal. Cornbread, hot dog, corn dog. Honey, you worked at hot dog on a stick. Is this true? Yeah. <sighs> Yesterday, I posted this video. How corn dogs got their name. Cornbread, hot dog, Corn dog. People keep asking me, how did you not know cornbread was on a corn dog? I thought it was supposed to look like corn on the cob or a freshly shucked corn for cobbing. It isn't. Thanks for watching this video, everyone. If you like this video and you'd like to see more, click that subscribe button and notification bell. And let me know what other tips and tricks I should try in the comments down below. Bye.